more stuff, but now I've got to go see a guy at Ipswich um, to oh. get a couple of push bikes and some I might lock this up and I'll take you down and I'll Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, awesome. Every day of the week, and sometimes load her up with stuff. And she's so handy, and, uh, and visitors like to see it running around. Yeah, know? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can imagine they would. I like to see it <laughs> going for a drive, and it's going to be even better. This is its original body style, it's not all original timber, but um, it's very, very close to it. Most of it was there that I could get a pattern on. The old thermometer. Yep. The story was the hole was meant to meet up with the beams where they would cross so that you could see if it was overheating. When, when the, that little tube, that's a capillary tube, the red. Uh, rises up and when it's in the circle, it's right. Yes. There's two more models in there I'm working on. Oh, yeah. And, um, oh, you got more bikes over here. They're not collectible. They're, they're just... This, this little bike check pattern from the foundry. Those days would come to work on a bike and... Oh yeah, yeah, well, that was a major mode of transport back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there that's really valuable. See, they don't belong to me anyway, they belong to the fish. Okay. So, I, I can't, I can't really separate. That's a specific machine for working on something, isn't it? It's what they call a Ross Carrier. So. It's like the, the big shipping container, battle trucks. Yep. Yeah. The, the Army, Air Force and Navy used to put all their stuff in, in Cyprus or pine boxes, you know, whether it's ammunition or uniforms or, or whatever. Yeah. And they had those on the tarmacs uh, in the war. Yeah. I have I have seen them in something before. It might have even been a movie that they were using things like that. Yeah, they were made by Ross in Canada for the war effort. And since then they've just been abandoned. Well, especially after the war. You know, a lot of similar Listen, around and... <clears throat> Yeah, well, I know a couple of farms that were... All these tractors down this line, they're all goers. Yeah, wow. Well. I know um, a lot of farms bought those uh, Chevy Glitz and would probably use them on farms for, for everything. Love the wheels on that thing, too. The old stockyard. Yeah, that's always full of baby farm animals and everything. Yeah, okay. Old church. Yeah, we have a lot of weddings in the church. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, would cars. this would be great for a wedding, wouldn't it? Yeah. And we can have the reception and the eating area here, or we've got a hall as well. I could, yeah, I, I can see the attraction of uh, wanting to get married somewhere like there. Yeah. And yep. all this is great for the photo props that, they, right. that yeah. they have. I had a ride in this about six weeks ago. In the back, I had a bale of hay just here. Yeah. And then I made a temporary ramp for it to climb up in and yeah. That's good. A mate of mine just has old farm machinery around. It's an old building um, made in the 1800s somewhere, the, the old property. And yeah, they get weddings come out and they want to do all their photos, Yeah. Uh, you know, in front of the machines. And he's got some sort of older huts around and 
seems very popular at the moment. To... Well, e even if uh, couples don't get married here, if they get married elsewhere, they still come here for, for photos. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. get photos at the railway station, at the slab cottage, and you know, up at the yards. They always like yards, and of course, we use the vintage cars. And my dad did 46 years in the railway, yeah. Queensland Rail. Yep. Yeah. Your Gore was down near Inglewood on the Gore Highway. Yeah, okay. And um, there was a huge precinct there once. There was 14 buildings there. Now they're all gone. This was the last one to go. But Cement Mills is only a couple of k's away and they used to ship 1,500 tonne of, of limestone to Dara weekly Jeez. through through that Gore station, as well as livestock. Wool, wheat. All the feed um, for the, yeah, for the stock, livestock yeah, as well, grain, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. All right. Well, I better get out of your hair. I might have a quick look in the toy shop, actually, because I do like old toys. They're all handmade toys in there. I'm, st mm -hmm. I'm still a big kid, you know. Yeah. Right on. All right, thanks, Ray. Right, you're welcome. I'll, um, I'll call you, organise it, and, yeah, come up. It'll be great. Thank you. Can you see them? We've got one there. These guys are called curlews. And you don't see them that often during the day. 